James! We gotta get out of here. Have you been here all night? Been here all morning. Technically, after midnight, it's called AM. Actually, it's called not drinking yourself into a dead stupor. Did you go out with that? I never go hunting without my knife. Eh? 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 Have you forgotten who taught you how to hunt? That was a long time ago. Let's leave hunting to the current professionals. Oh, is that what you're calling yourself these days? Come on. What's the problem? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we're shipping out in a few minutes, and I'd like you not to throw up on our hosts. I'm fine. Please, for me, clean up. You don't, uh, smell sober. Make no promises. You guys smell good. Lemony Hunter Rick Rainsford is uh, definitely trying to clean up his act after his name's been dragged through the mud all over social media. He's got this uh, new wildlife preservation campaign. Kind of strange coming from a hunter, but after repeated DUI charges, numerous public drunkenness displays, I think these uh, acts of altruism on behalf of Rainsford. Boat? Yeah, there's a hell of a boat. Nearly just to be asked, huh? This is John What you're asking is impossible. We have to change course. These waters are not safe. I did the research. This is the quickest route. Tommy boy. <laughs> Rick. What's happening, Captain? This is Captain Andres. He's in charge of this fine vessel. Any and all questions go to him. Actually, we're not finished yet. What you have to respect is that you and Mr. Rainsford are not the only passengers on this ship. I'm responsible for the safety of everyone. All right. Let's, let's talk. No need to bore Rick with this nonsense. Thomas knows me so well. I don't like to get bogged down with the details. Good talk. Market for some alcohol. I'm not allowed to give you any alcohol. Excuse me. Well, what I mean is, um, I just, I just, I just mean that we don't have any. You don't have any, or you're not allowed to give me. Which is it? Oh, uh, I think I heard the the captain 
Do you know who I am? Yes, Mr. Ansford. Well, then you know this is a mistake. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you're gonna be. Just trying to get a picture. I'm a celebrity. Darling, I'm no stranger to pictures. But if you want a good one, you should just ask. <laughs> well, I don't want to bother you. I know you're such a busy guy. Rick Rainsford is not too busy for you, little lady. Okay, can I please take your picture, Mr. Rainsford? Well, that's not fair. Now you know my name, and I don't know yours. Well, I'm... What's a beautiful sweetheart like you doing on a rusty old boat like this anyway? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to get a picture of our resident celebrity. All right. Please. I'll make it a good one. Oh, yeah? Exclusive. Oh, I feel so special. Hold on. pompous and self-important, so it's accurate, if nothing else. What? Just saying it's a pretty good portrait of Rick Rainsford. Do we know each other? Yeah, we've met several times, including earlier tonight. You were probably just too drunk to remember. I meet a lot of people. Oh. Sometimes I forget a few. Oh, okay. You don't know anything about me. <laughs> oh, let's see here. You hunt deer for sport. Sort of, although you're more well known for your famous love interests and stupid reality TV shows because you're so drunk you can barely even walk. <laughs> so yeah, I think I know exactly who you are, Mr. Rainsford. If I'm so terrible, why are you here taking pictures of me? Clever. What you're looking for? Famous. That's what a celebrity is. That's really mature. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Who is that? The girl? Yeah. That's Anna Christie. She's the photographer management said. <laughs> She's our photographer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when did that happen? What about, uh... Santiago. You punched him in the face last time, remember? He won't work with you anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's young. Yeah. And me. Look, are you going to cooperate on this photo shoot, or are we just wasting our time here? It's fine. I got it. I got it. She's just interesting, that's all. How so? I don't know. She just better not piss me off. You keep your eye on the big game. I'll take care of the blondes. <laughs> okay. What's going on here? Calm down, man. It's a boat. It's gonna sway. General quarters means useless. Everyone, back to your rooms. Useless. It means That's your new name, by the way. Get back to your room, please, sir. Found the alcohol. 
useless. For your own safety, please. Okay, go, go. Oh, it's not water. The mess evacuation. Everyone with a light rack. Do you have any more alcohol? Good. Come on, come on. Thank you. Another bottle? Do you know this island? Do you know where we are at all? I'm gonna go look around. What? No, you're not. Hey. Pretty good. Maybe striper or something? Are you still here? I see someone. What? Hey! Hey! Over here! Hey, Chief! Hey, bud! Hey, buddy! You speak English? I'm Rick. Rick Rainsman. Down there, that's, uh... Anna. Anna. Hey, buddy, what's your name? What's your name, pal? Ivan. He's lost a lot of blood. Second degree burns pretty much all over his body. He's bad. Uh, we must go. What? Go where? Huh? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. <sighs> Ooh! Keep up. You don't want to get lost. I am not going to get lost. This is the wilderness. Don't wander off. Oh, really? This is the wilderness? Wow, how'd you figure that one out? You're disturbing Sandy. Stop. Tripwire. Why is there a tripwire here? Dangerous animals. What? <laughs> Smart man. You're not helping. Where huh? are you? <laughs> Hello, sir. Where? Where are you taking us? Could you just? We are here. Get around there. Okay. Okay. When I tell you, okay? One, two, two three. three. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay it's gonna be okay. Do you have anything to 
sedatum, painkillers, medication, anything. What do you have? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. How do you know how to do that? Are you a doctor? No, he's not. But he's very experienced in field trauma. Have you done this before? No. Well, then Ivan will instruct you. Please, continue, if you'll excuse me. This is going to hurt. It's okay. Mm. Excuse me, I'm Colonel Zorov. I don't think he'll make it. He'll be fine. Colonel? Yes. Retired. This is Ivan. You, you've met. You two live here alone? Yes, we live on the island. Listen, we are here to assist you. Thank you. And you are? I'm Anna. It's Rick. Hello. Hey. Hello, Rick. How do you feel? Not bad. I feel, uh, feel all right. Do you need any attention? Good. Thanks. Well then, let's let the healers heal. Let's go have a drink. How about you? You thirsty? We are men. She has proven to be a worthy nurse. I'm fine. Go, go. I'm surprised you lasted this long without a drink. Happy to see your bad attitude survived. <laughs> Happy to see the laziness survived. And lovers quarrel? No, absolutely not. Definitely not. <laughs> go. Ivan, what's going on? What is this place? Americansky Jansen in Nagli. Ruski Mushini, he mute Diaski Izaki. Very cute. I know it's a bit unorthodox, but it's how I like to live my life. Teach their own. So, tell me, what happened out there? I wish I could tell you. It's all a blur to me. I imagine it must have been a most uh, painful experience. Yeah. Were you the only survivors? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you saw what happened to that kid. A lot of good people were lost. Yes. I'm deeply sorry to hear that. Thanks for taking us in. It's not the problem. At all. I'm sure you could imagine we don't get too many guests. It's very uh, nice to talk to someone. No? I gathered. <laughs> Man, of all the islands to wreck on, we had to pick the one with nothing but sand, trees, and a hidden house where two dudes live alone. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't mean anything, bro. 
<laughs> Bro. Yeah. Have another drink, Mr. Ransford. Take a seat. Don't Mr. mind if I do. Yes. <clears throat> you hunt? I do. I find it exhilarating. Pleasurable hobby. Me too. I'm actually kind of a professional. You are a professional. Are you famous, Mr. Ransford? In some circles, yeah. I'm kind of a big deal. That girl Anna doesn't think so, though. I'm no celebrity in her eyes. Don't be so modest, Mr. Ransford. No one could ever accuse me of that. No. The Russian standard. You're really gentle. So you live here with the Colonel? This is my home. Is there anybody else in this island? <laughs> Why don't you want to answer any of my questions? Where's the bathroom? What time? Spasiba. Nastrovia. Nastrovia. <laughs> Man, what you have here, I would kill for my own island. Hunt whenever I want to. Paradise. It's a good place to be if you're me. Why is that? Reliving the glory days? What? You're obviously in the Russian military. Or something. I've served everybody. Served everywhere. Different country. Different time. Different world. Sounds intriguing. It's a long story. You must leave the island quite frequently. I mean, you can't find all these animals here. No, I do. I mean, I, I shipped them in. Shipped here? <laughs> Why? Why not? To hunt them? Of course. Why not go hunt them in their natural habitats? That's what a real hunter does. <laughs> Are you suggesting I'm not a real hunter, Mr. Rainsford? No, it's, uh, it's just... Yeah, that is what I'm suggesting. Explain. You're cheating, you know? I mean, these animals aren't in their native habitats. You always have the advantage. And it's an island. It's not a real hunt if there's no chance they can get away. Well, I have no chance to get away. They have no chance to get away. It seems fairly even to me. I think you should get off this island and do some real hunting. Get back into the wilderness. I think this place might be affecting your sensibilities a little bit. Perhaps you are right, Mr. Rainsford. Nastrovia. Are you going to be long? Give her girl a second, it's been a while.
How do you get off this island? What do you mean? I mean... You gonna radio the mainland? Have us picked up? You have no home, no family to get back to, Mr. Lunsford. Says who? Says me. I know a lot about you. Yeah, well... I wouldn't believe everything you read in magazines. I'm gonna go check on Anna. I don't believe everything I read in magazines. Mr. Rick Rainsford. The hunter, the man. <laughs> I'm not interested in this man. I'm definitely more interested in this man. to remember this, okay? Well, well, hello, Miss Richards. What did you call me? I called you by your real name, Miss Richards. Here on the island, uh, we go as who we are, not who we want to be. He brought us here. No, no, I brought Rick here. You were not meant to survive. But, as I'm sure Ivan would agree, you are a pleasurable accident. <laughs> Duh. You killed all those people. <clears throat> Collateral damage. What did you do to him? Rick, he, he loves his vodka. He'll be out for a little while. <laughs> Fast and resourceful, huh? Yes. You know, this, this is the most awkward part of the game. Um, but in, in my experience, I find there, there is no better way, so here we are. It is important for you to listen. He'll be brief. Huh? Oh! <laughs> she likes to fight, huh? It's okay. I don't like to use guns, so I apologize. I try to be a little more creative. Ivan. Duh. Creative with what? The game. I understand that you must be thinking, who are we? Where are you? You are in a game of life. and death. This is not the place to be something that you're not, but to be who you really are inside your heart. Mr. Rainsford. So, like they say, the uh, American adage, the strongest will survive. It's just a game. Your world. My world is honest, simple, and 
you shall make a very good hunt, huh? Absolutely. I brought Rick here because he is a ultimate hunter. He will be my greatest conquest. Now listen to me carefully. There's a boat. Do you hear me, Mr. Rainsford? There's a boat on the other side of the island. If you get there, you live. If you can kill me, it would be much easier. And what if we refuse to play? Then I will have to start on your feet. Why the log face? I'm giving you a chance to survive. I just want to play a simple game. You might just find it fun. Get him up. Rick, are you okay? Yeah. What? No, stay. It's what people do when people freak out. Oh. I, I thought it might calm you down or turn you on. It's a terrible idea. Ugh. You calmed down, didn't you? Nature bless me with courage, truth, and humility. Mother Nature bless me with your heart and land. Mother Nature bless me for who?
bastard must have booby trapped the woods. Yeah, he looks that way. You right? It looks worse than it is. We need to get to the beach. No, we need to get to some spring water and find a place to rest. Without hydration and sleep, we're not going anywhere. That's a waste of time. No, it's not. We are in the wild. Water should be our number one priority. You want water? Here's water. I think we're probably gonna need a little bit more than that, don't you think? Come on. We're on an island. There's gotta be water close by somewhere. And you know so much about wilderness survival because you photograph ducks. That's exactly what I do. You know What's so the fake much name? What? What fake name? The name that you go by that's not your real name? Uh. What? Rick! Rick! Stay with me! Are you serious? Rick! Leave without him. We should embrace change. Duh. Change is uh, important. Duh. Duh. It makes us uh, wiser and stronger. Colonel, and I... less vulnerable. Duh. Duh. I am concerned with these two. Is this your concern? Is this your concern? Who's my cousin? Sector 23, all clear. I have eyes on them. Copy.
it. Rick. Sure where it starts or ends. I got it. I got it. You gotta calm down, okay? I'm calm. You gotta relax. I'm relaxed. Relax. I'm relaxed. Calm. I'm gonna get you out, okay? Trust okay. me. Okay. Now close your eyes. How is that gonna help? Because I don't want you staring at me. Just close them. Close your eyes. All right? Okay. Put your arms above your head. There you go. Okay. I'm sinking. Okay. Pull me out. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Stop. Calm down. All right? You're you wanna. <laughs> Jump in and do a synchronized quicksand dance with me? No, lean towards me. Towards you? Okay, okay, into the quicksand. Okay. Three. You're gonna pull out. Stay calm and I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna drop out of that, okay? Pull, pull, pull. I'm, I'm pushing. Get off of me. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, come on, we gotta keep moving. We can't. so close by. No. There's gonna be more of these traps. We're barely surviving them. Come on, I got something to show you. Give me just a sec. We don't have a second, come on. I just almost died. I know you did, but we gotta go. He's close. Come on! Can you stop talking, please? No, I can't. I'll come and oh, I'm sorry. shut up. Saving your life. Shut up and I'll follow, come on. Don't tell me to shut up. We're talking. Come on! See? You marked them all. Yep. Well, all the ones I could find. It was dark. Were the other guns? No, just more stuff like this, some arrows, a grenade. A grenade? Yeah. I couldn't dismantle it either. I could. What? How? I was in the military. You were? When? Long time ago. Where'd you serve? I didn't. But you just said you were in the... I don't want to talk about it. Why not? What's your real last name? <sighs> Look a mile this way. That's what I thought. And here we go. First you won't shut up and now the silent treatment? You're really not gonna tell me.
Hey, I found a creek. Come on, really? What? You didn't find the rabbit already? Maybe if you weren't stomping around the forest, they would have. I am not stomping around the forest. The rabbit heard you stomping, okay, and ran away. Oh my god, the great Rick Rainsford can't hunt a rabbit. A little rabbit. Could we not fight for like two minutes? Could you, could you give me two minutes without making any noise? Two minutes? <laughs> Please. Okay, I'd like to see this. Go. Not so bad of a hunter after all. That was not funny. You know what's really strange? I just don't agree with you. I found some more dry wood. Let me help. No thanks, I've got this. You know, I actually have I something I said I could got this. Okay. Not everything has to be a fight. I had it, you know. Oh, I know. Rather have a hamburger. Agreed. <laughs> so, do you always eat what you hunt? Depends. No family to bring home 60 pounds of venison to. I donate it sometimes. Really? You donate? Yeah. Good PR, you know? Wow. Staged altruism. Why am I not at all surprised? It isn't like that. I guess it is a little weird. One time there's a stylist on set combing the fur of a buck I just shot. No way. Seriously. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did let it all get away from me. It's a problem with fame. Famous people don't have anyone in their life to just be honest with them, you know? No. Thomas is always honest with me. Really? Yeah. Does he tell you that you come off like a pompous jerk? Every day. <laughs> We're like brothers. Okay. Spill it. Spill what? The fire. Did you learn that in Girl Scouts? <laughs> really? Girl Scouts? What's wrong with Girl Scouts? I would kill for a box of Thin Mints right now. <laughs> no. I, uh, did not have any time for Girl Scouts. No merit badges or Thin Mints. <laughs> no boyfriends. Or proms. Or anything for that matter. I can thank my mom for that. She's a journalist, Andrea Richards. I've heard of her. 
I didn't know she had a daughter. <laughs> yeah, no, um, <laughs> she doesn't really. What do you mean? Uh, wasn't really around enough to be an actual mom, you know? I was just kind of always there. While she drug me around on her stupid assignments. She didn't care at all. When I was eight years old, I knew more about cameras and lenses than I did Barbies or, I don't know, tea parties. <laughs> you seem like the kind of kid that would have been more into playing with G.I. Joes than Barbie anyway. <laughs> Maybe. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lived until you are on the Andes on your birthday. Hold up in a cave with an injured guide. My birthday present that year? Learn how to build a fire. That sucks. I'm sorry, this is weird. I just tried so hard to get out of her shadow, you know, and change my last name. Try to change my profession, but then I realized I'm just you know, this is the only thing I'm actually good at, so. So, you went with Anna Christie. <laughs> Anna Christie. <laughs> Why Christie? <laughs> I don't know. You could have picked any name in the world. I would have picked something more interesting. Thanks. Anna Kincaid. <laughs> that literally makes no sense. The master of light. <laughs> yes, but he was a painter and I'm a photographer. It still, it kind of makes sense. No, it doesn't. The master of light, photography. You're so the, proud of yourself. I was proud of myself <laughs> until you said it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm trying. Yes, you are. This was supposed to be my big break, you know. Photographing you. <laughs> Yikes. Photography is supposed to be about capturing that rare honest and truthful moment in someone, you know. I take this assignment that's just basically a glamour shot. No offense. I'm taken. <laughs> My mom would be so proud of me. Well, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get you off this island. Deal. Deal. You should try to get some sleep. on the Wilderness Explorer and the Neptune Star. The wreckage has been found. An Anchorage-based fishing company reports that one of their fishing vessels has uncovered pieces of the missing ship's hulls in their nets. While most of the ship's passengers and bodies have been identified in the wreckage, there are still a few people and a single life raft unaccounted for, leading rescue crews to speculate that there may in fact still be survivors out there. Among those not identified at the scene are professional hunter Rick Rainsford.
Hey. Comrade. He's gonna die. I doubt it. Come on. Ivan's not doing well. You better hurry. Давай, давай, let's go. Come on, idiot. Damn it, Rick. You could have ended this entire thing. Don't attack a man from behind. It's not sportsmanlike. Now is the time to get off this island. So we just leave Sammy. He's gonna be busy till he died. Rick, Rick, I stepped on something. It's a landmine. I, I swept the entire area. I didn't think about landmines. Don't move. Okay, canceling all plans to move now. I've never seen a mine like this. It's not standard issue. Oh, great. Now you finally admit that you don't know everything. Shit. It might be sound activated. What are you doing? Thinking. Go think far away over there. If it explodes, it shouldn't kill both of us. I'm gonna figure this out. No, Rick, go. You're gonna be okay. Rick, go. Get out of here. I'm not leaving you. I'm sorry. Okay. I am so sorry. But you have to go. Go. Get away from me. Go. Go. Tell me a story. What? Seriously, tell me a story. <laughs> what? What kind of story? Anything. Okay, I'm standing on a landmine here. That's not the point. What is the point then? Shut up and tell me a story. I can't shut up and tell you a story at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wasn't always like this. You know? I've been hunting for a while. I've been hunting forever. Rick, what are you doing? I'm telling you a story. My dad taught me how to hunt. It was just him and me. It's how we bonded. And he 
never even talked to me, except when we were hunting. When I was 16, we were hunting out in the woods by my hometown. It wasn't sanctioned hunting property, and we weren't following the rules. We were just having fun. I had just shot my first buck. It was clean. Perfect shot. My dad was so proud of me. We walked up to the animal, and he was talking to me about something. I, I don't know. I can't remember. My dad was talking to me when we saw another deer up ahead. He stood up, and then came falling down. What happened? He was shot by a rookie. There are rules. You're not supposed to hunt in certain areas. You're not supposed to wear certain types of clothes. And we weren't following him. He was 15. He stood up at the exact wrong time. It was an accident. Rick, I don't understand what you're talking about. Nothing happened. Oh, we're alive. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, are you? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah. I can't believe we could be. We were never getting out of here. Hey, my bag. If you pull out a bottle of booze, I swear I'm going to hit you over the head with a rock. I'm not kidding. 50 50 shot, there's still some booze in there if you really want to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> How's Ivan? Fine. This scratch or two. But thank you for your concern. Some hunter you turned out to be. Traps? Real sportsmanlike. Hey, Rick. Yeah? How was the quail? <laughs> Anna? What? Thank God. The thought of your skin spread all over. I am not afraid of you. No need to be afraid of me, my dear. But there is a lot of jungle between the beach and me. Ivan has left his toys all over. Try not to step in any of them. He'll be seeing me sooner than you think. About damn time. How do you know that? He's tracking us. Find your bag, change your clothes, and we gotta get rid of everything he gave us. Yeah. Here. Backpack. Excuse me, can you? You're gonna need to 
change that too. My bra. You can never be too cautious. <sighs> Typical. Do you think we've been on this island too long? Yeah. We had a code when we started. No women, no children. Children? Who kills children? This is getting good. Why don't we just let them go? <laughs> let them go, let me see. You seem a little tense. This is not going to end well. Are you interested in the girl? <laughs> Look at me. Do you like the girl? Why don't you go for the bow? Maybe I will. Do you see anything? The infirmary, but no movement. That means he could be back out in the woods. Where are you, you sick son of a bitch? Oh, well, uh, something's moving. Let me see. I don't see anything. Be patient. There he is, I see him. Give me the gun. Shh. That was weird. What? He's gone. We get in there, we get Samuel, we find the boat and we get the hell off this island. Give me the knife. You coming? Samuel, patch him up quick. Let's get the hell out of here. We need a stretcher or something, Rick. I don't see anything. Give me the knife. 
very slowly. I love it, I love it, I love it. Good evening, Miss Richards. I'm very impressed with you. Wish I could say the same thing about you. Su can sin. The kid lives. No. You have good blood. But you, Mr. Rainsford, you are the biggest disappointment of all. You're big, you're strong, but you are weak, sensitive, and vulnerable. Relax. Enjoy the game. Ivan, I would like to speak to Mr. Rainsford alone, please. Yeah. Pick him up. Pick him up! I heard you. Come on, a little faster, yeah. perhaps. Don't do this. Look after yourself. Just be who you are. Now, please, sit down. Come on, move faster. We're moving as fast as we can. I'm in a bit of a quandary, Mr. Ransford. Look at me. Maybe we should go back to my house and have a drink. I'm in a quandary, Mr. Rainsford. I don't know if I should just kill you right here, right now. You have no heart, no sport, no courage. How does that make you feel? Let me explain it this way. Please, help me. What do I need to do to motivate you? I have killed your girlfriend. I have killed your friend. If it's not revenge, what would I need to do to motivate you? Did you take care of the girl? Yes, duh. There is a new game that has a twist. Please. Ivan, I will ask you one more time. Did you kill the girl? Duh. Lanell, it is over. Rick, look at Ivan. Tell me. Did he kill the girl? 
Listen to me. I'm trying to help you. The box is booby trapped. Okay, a couple of clicks north, there's another cove with another boat. You must go there, it's safer what? there. Take the boy, go to what? the other boat, please. How do I know I can trust you? Okay. I am not a bad man. You must trust me. Please. There is one absolute, <coughs> Mr. Renfrew. I will either kill you, or you will kill me. This is how the game will go. Yes? Well then, Mr. Ransford, please, show me. Thank you. <coughs> Game on. runs for the hunt and pull on kill.
of wreckage being found, U.S. and Russian government officials are beginning cooperation to find the missing passengers. Captain Neil Davis of the U.S. Navy has stated, With the tremendous cooperation from the Russian military, an accelerating course of action is underway to find the missing passengers. The search and rescue team has already been dispatched. 